one inspiration for the book was when I was first a teacher, teaching six and seven year olds. And I was planning trips with my class. And we took walks around the neighborhood and the kids noticed a number of places. One of these places was a tailor shop. And I went in and I asked him, can my kids come in and interview you? And he was very receptive to that. Only he said to me, however, before they leave, I want to teach them something. I want to teach them how to sew a button. Everyone should know how to sew a button. As we entered the tailor shop, he turned the sign on his door to closed. And the smallest kid in the class looked up at the tailor, who was over six feet tall, and said, how big is your washing machine? And the tailor looked at him and said, I don't have one. If you want your clothes washed, go to a laundromat. Well, the next question, why do we need a tailor? So he looked at the kids and said, what were you wearing when you were born? Now, this man was in his 80s. And the kids thought about it and said nothing. And he said, well, that's why you need a tailor. They said to him, how did you learn how to do your job? He thought about it and he said, I come from a country very far from here. It's called Hungary. And in that country, the son learns his father's job. And my father was a master tailor. And I learned from him. And then the kids said, do you like your job? And he looked at them very intensely and said, I want to tell you something very important. I love my job. And whatever you choose to do, make sure you too love it. Then they said, do you have any children? He put his hands under his counter, pulled out this big picture of a young woman. The kids said, she's beautiful. And he said, yes, she is. And I asked him if we could sketch some things in his store. Well, the kids started sketching. He looked at them and said, you know, it's very important what you're doing. Too many people, when they grow up, forget that they can draw. Can I take your pictures when you're done and send them to my relatives in Hungary? Well, the kids were so thrilled by that. They went to tear them right off their boards. And I said, we were going to use these for drawings in the class. But if the kids want, we'll bring them back. And they all wanted. Well, we finished up. We thanked him. We headed back to school. We discussed what happened. They wrote about it. They created a book. They wrote thank you letters. Handed those drawings over to him so he could send them to Hungary. And I started to wonder what happened in that visit. That there was something that went way beyond what I expected. I wanted the kids to know that they could ask questions, that their questions were important, and that they can get them answered by themselves. I wanted them to use reading and writing. I wanted them to communicate. I wanted to, them to express themselves through art. They did all of these, but more happened. It was the 70s, and the city was not nearly as safe as it is now. And stories of muggings and drugs just riddled everybody's lives. And they were learning that there were things in the class they could trust. And that there were people out there in the world that they could truly learn from.